it's the ratio between the difference of the fluxes and uh, the difference between the values. Right? This is general for any conservation law. And for Burgers, and in particular for Burgers equation, where, where f is equal to u squared over 2, this would give me, okay, ul squared minus ur squared. Uh, divided by 2 times ul minus ur. That is simply ul plus ur over 2. Okay? So, uh, now I'm worried I may have drawn ul and ur to be the same. Uh, yeah, if they are... Okay, so, yeah, so if ul plus ur is, is equal to 0, then the shock wave shouldn't move, right? So that's actually pretty much what happened. I think I draw the, the solution to be pretty symmetric. And uh, UL is uh, close to 1 and UR is close to minus 1. The shock wave, uh, after it, uh, at this point, is basically going straight up. But previously, when you have UR to be almost minus 1 and UL is still orange, which means UL is a little bit lower. At that point, UL plus UR is going to be negative. So the shockwave over here, you can see it moves towards the left. Right? So the speed of the shockwave is actually going to be constantly changing because uh, UL plus UR may be constantly changing as those different solutions bump into the shockwave like that. All right, what we are going to see is that UL is going to decrease, right, while UR is still pretty negative. So we'll see the shockwave curving towards the left. Uh, let's just uh, watch my prediction to be. Or maybe the magnitude is too small to be seen, though. Uh, right, it's a little bit hard to see. Let's draw something more obvious. So. If we want the solution, okay, if we want the solution to move towards the left first and then move towards the right, what should we do? Right, so, so we want a solution, okay, so if we want to first move towards the left, we want the discontinuity to, to be like that, uh, and uh, maybe that. Would that work? So, Oh, that wouldn't work. Sorry. So we want a we want a larger magnitude over here, and we want the discontinuity that is over like this. So I think I think this will work because uh, so here the discontinuity is going to be first uh, formed over here, right? So U L U R are both negative at this point. So I think the 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 shock wave should move towards the left. And uh, after a while, uh, as the solution up there starts to bump more and more into the shock wave, we'll see the average becomes higher and the solution should move towards the right. Right, so uh, we, we'll wait a little bit. But overall, uh, as you can see that the speed of the shock wave is like the finite difference slope of f. Right, it's almost like if you, ha if you can draw f, as a function of u, right? So for Burgers, it's a quadratic. And uh, uh, this is like if I have ul here, ur here, the speed of the shock can be determined by the slope. This would be fr, this would be fl, right? f of ul and f of ur. So the slope is like the, the final different slope of the flux function. While if you remember the in the smooth regions, the characteristic line, there is an interesting analogy. Characteristic speed is df over du. So the tangent of this line is where the smooth region characteristics would move. So in some sense, the shock wave is a generalization of a, of a, of a smooth region characteristic. Or you can also think the characteristic line in the smooth region is like an infinitesimal shock. Okay. 
right? So let's see here. Uh, maybe let me put it like this. It's a little bit more obvious what the what the curvature of the shock is, right? So uh, it first moved towards the left, and uh, now I think it's uh, going pretty much vertical. And uh, I think soon we are going to see the slope is going to change, and the shock is going to be moving towards the uh, right. So that's different from the characteristic lines, where you see for the characteristic line, every single line is going to be perfectly straight. If you, yeah, th there is a, there is no way for the characteristic characteristic to change its speed for scalar conservation loss. We're going to see like for for uh, uh, for scalar conservation loss without a right hand side, uh, it wouldn't change, right? So uh, so for for a system of conservation loss, we're going to see the characteristic is going to change speed. Uh, but like for, for scalar loss, it'll be always, this is going to be straight. Okay, so I think we are seeing the behavior we expected to see. Uh, the, the shock has changed uh, uh, the direction. And uh, I'll see you on Wednesday to discuss how do we solve this with finite volume. Okay.